Hi, this is Tracy Fabian with KPI Online, and welcome to a short video on creating and saving analysis reports. One of the most important features of a business intelligence application is the ability to analyze your data. This could include performing drill down analysis, trend analysis, comparative analysis, or many other types. Built within the KPI Online dashboards is a decision support system to assist you. Let's begin by looking at the revenue metric. Let's perform some additional analysis. We'll start with by first drilling down on the revenue metric by sales executive. Left click on the revenue metric and go to dimensions and click on sales executive. The decision support system window will open and you will now see a breakdown of revenue by sales executive. To drill down further, you can use the dimension category on the left-hand side. Let's say we want to add region to the analysis and we want to create a cross tab. Simply expand dimension, click on region, and drag and drop it onto the revenue column header. We now see a breakdown of revenue by sales executive and also by region. You can continue adding additional dimensions. For instance, to add the product category, Simply locate product category on the left hand side, drag and drop it to the data on the right. The same concept applies for adding additional metrics or indicators to the analysis. Currently we are only viewing the revenue metric, but let's say we also want to add in the cost of sales. Simply expand indicators on the left hand side, locate cost of sales, and drag and drop it to the analysis on the right hand side and you now see an additional column for the cost of sales. So you can quickly see how you can start out with a very simple analysis and create a complex analysis in just a few minutes by dragging and dropping items from the left hand side to the right. To remove a dimension or indicator from the analysis, use the red X on the top menu bar. Drag and drop it onto the column you wish to remove. An additional feature of the analysis component is the ability to add indicators or metrics on the fly. In this analysis, we are currently examining revenue and cost of sales. Let's say you want to see the difference between these two amounts, but that difference is not being stored as an indicator or metric. You can create this new metric by clicking the calculated column icon on the top menu bar. The calculated operators window will open. The first step is to name the new metric and I will keep it simple and name it difference. The second step is to create the formula for the metric. And then finally, the third step is to identify the format for this metric. You can choose whole number, dollar, percentage, etc. I will keep it as whole number. Click OK and you will now see a new column in your analysis for the difference. You also have the ability to duplicate a metric and view it in a different format. Let's say you want to view revenue not only as a whole number, but also as a percentage. Expand the duplicate function, duplicate as function on the left hand side, click percentage, drag and drop it onto the revenue column header. You now see a new column for revenue being reflected as a percentage. Under the duplicate as function, you can also show a variation based on a previous period. Expand variation, expand the type of visual, and drag and drop previous period onto the revenue column header. By hovering over the visual indicator, you can see the exact amount of whether you've increased or decreased your revenue. Under the visibility function, you can narrow the focus of your analysis. You have probably heard the term 80-20 rule, or better known, and better known as the Pareto principle, which in business basically means 80% of your sales comes from 20% of your clients. To apply this concept to revenue, simply expand visibility, click on the 80-20 rule, drag and drop it onto the revenue column header. If you wish to see all revenue again, just drag all to the revenue column header. Once again, to remove columns, use the red X on the top menu bar. You also have the ability to convert a table into a chart. Expand charts on the left hand side 
and let's say you want to view this table as a bar chart. Click on bar chart, drag and drop it to the analysis on the right, and you now have a bar chart. This is an active chart and you can continue to add new in indicators to this chart. To revert back to the table format, click the table graph icon on the top menu bar. As you can see, there are many functions built within the decision support system to enable you to analyze your data. Finally, to save an analysis, you can click the save icon on the top menu bar, type in a name for your analysis, and click save. To retrieve this saved analysis, if you're at your dashboard, you can click the starburst in the upper left hand corner. You go down to Enterprise Analysis, Favorites, Open, and click the Saved Analysis Report. The Decision Support System will now open, showing you that saved report. It's important to note we are not saving the data in this report, we're just serving, saving the data structure. So if your data was to change when you retrieve the new report, you will see updated data. For questions or support in using KPI Online, please use the Live Support Chat feature located in the upper right-hand corner of the dashboards, or feel free to send us an email at support at kpionline.com. Thank you.